guys in this video I will just try to raise a question um, to those who invest for the long run it means more than one year okay um, for me when I'm always debating these subjects I will try just to make you aware of things that no one will tell you <laughs> online or in books or even in books okay you read books about investing but this thing they don't tell you okay they will never tell you although these things if you don't know them you will have a real problem in your life I'm not just speaking just about um, uh, in your money because your money affects your life especially for those who have too much money in the market uh, especially uh, those people who uh, who come to a retirement now someone this is a typical thing I uh, I taught someone before he has some good money okay and like 500k it means five hundred thousand dollars and he put them in two positions okay just try follow me and he is an investor okay he he is a guy who search a lot about companies and and then he decide to buy two stocks okay now after five years or some term, some years one it doubled it means let's say let's say he buys the stock at 100 after many years it becomes 200 so he doubled his money which is very good now the second stock company that he bought it goes the same but in opposite direction it goes down 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 and one day he doesn't find his money believe me here I'm not speaking about 1,000 2,000 here I'm speaking about 250,000 okay I'm not speaking about uh, 5,000 10,000 in putting a trade uh, I see people who put too much money in the trade okay so he lost all his money because the company uh, was bankrupt okay there are things information that the company will never give okay they give the information when it is over when all the people the big guys who knows the company they take their money for years they take all their money because they know this information because this information you can't get it online okay the financial thing about a company if you think if you believe that that what you what you see in any website is correct you are wrong okay why because the company is the one who gives the financial health okay of, of its company so ask yourself a question if a company has a troubles okay do you think it will it will tell its investors that the company has a big problems what would the investors do for example if you you put 10,000 20,000 for 10 years in a company and then they announce that the company has real tr trouble so what does it mean real trouble it means that the stock will sink it means the stock will go down so quick that you can't sometimes you can't sell okay but online they always give you things that they help them not they help you believe me if you don't know if you don't know the market if you don't know how information is provided ask me okay I don't know about companies it means I don't know to search for company because I don't search for company I see the price and this is enough for me a company that is going up okay it will never be a bankrupt okay the company is going down yes okay so returning to our story in one side he doubled his money in the other side he lose money so he break even after many years many years of investing 
Now the question I ask, it's not about company health like a bankruptcy or it is good competition. No, no, I'm not asking about that because it's not what I am saying here. What I am saying is if you buy a company for investment like for many years and, and the company is either you have some money in the company and then it becomes to go down and then you lose your profit. And then after one year or two, you begin to lose your principal. It means the money that you put. What did they tell you? Okay. What did they tell you online and in books? Oh, this is investment for the long run, for the whole life. Okay. And if the, if the stock is going down, 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 and then the, bank, uh, the company is bankrupt, what, what does it mean this uh, investing for the long run? It means as if you think that time will bring you money. It's false. I have made another video explaining this. Okay? Explaining that time is not that important in trading or investing. Now, what is the most important thing? Is are you making money or are you losing money? It's the direction. Are you right or are you wrong? Okay. You buy a stock. $20. After two years, three years. It's 30, 40, 50. What's this here? You are right, you are making the money, so you stay. Okay. Opposite side. You buy a stock $20. You invest for the long run, yes. But after one year or two, from $20, now the stock is $10. Okay. So, when are you going to exit this trade or this investment? Are you staying until it becomes $1 from 20? It goes to $2, $1, and then the company bank is bankrupt? Are you, are you looking to wait and to lose mo more money and more time and to lose all your investment by 10 years or 15 years? This is the question I ask you to think about. And this is the question I ask everybody. When things are good, you are right, you stay. This is the way to make money in stock market. If the investment is against you, the stock is against you, and the company is against you because the stock is going down, okay? Are you going to stay? And for how long? Okay? Are you still thinking that time will make you money? the money? Okay? Uh, do you think that uh, a company, uh, it will have uh, just a small bad time, one year or two, and then it will go up? Um, to what extent are you going to stay in a company? These questions, when you invest, you try to ask yourself this question that I ask right now, okay? And think it deeply that when you put too much money in the market, and the market is against you, what are you going to do? Okay? This question, if you answer them, if you know what you are doing, you really can make the money in investing or trading or wherever. But if you don't answer this question that I ask, if you don't know what you are doing, if they tell you that time will make you money, if they ask you that it's a good company, just uh, buy and stay 20 years, 30 years, you will make money. If they tell you that uh, inv investing is always good, try to think about it. Because when you think, think in terms of are you right or are you wrong? For me, this is the way I see business. When you do business in trading, swing trading or trading or investing, what is the most important thing I see is the price. If the company price is going down, I will never stay. Don't tell me it's a good company. Don't tell me it's a, a true, the stock will go up. I don't believe. Because when you see the history of stocks, you will see this. That some stocks will go down and they will never go up again. Some stocks will go up again. But how do you know that in the future they will go up again? How? Company that it is good, it is not enough. Time, it is not enough. Um, that's why, when, this is the funny thing I find in books. I have read a lot of books about investing. The risk, they, they will never talk about risk. Even in 401k, 
those who have 401k or those who have uh, uh, put their money into uh, some big uh, banks uh, and investments companies and they say okay invest for the long run uh, you will have a future okay try to see these investments in the long run 10 years 15 years 20 years how much they make you will find out if you go to your 401k or to investment that the long run they are not making that much money and some they lose money and they ask you please put more money put more money because the future depends on this no the future doesn't depend on putting too much money it, the future depends if you are right or you are wrong okay so uh, just uh, take this questions uh, that I ask here on investing and try to uh, try to answer them and try to see if you have the same opinion as me uh, and uh, hope you understand that investing um, is uh, a big thing and if you don't think uh, wisely on your investment what you do it means you should always take action when things go wrong for you okay don't stay too long in a bad investment because they will take your money and they will assure you and they will say online oh it's just a small correction stay um uh the stock will go up the company is good uh uh all the analysts say hold this is the problem analysts if you are going to 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 see the analyst point of view sometimes you see analysts you say different opinion one asks you to sell the others asks you to wait the other one they say hold for the long run they, it is just their opinion they are paid to tell what they tell okay so they don't have money in these stocks this is the problem okay they don't put any money they have their their money is, is, is in their bank it's not an investment and they ask you to do this and do this and do this stay 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 and you see that you are losing 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, 20,000 and then you lose all your investment like this guy who I taught before now when I taught him about how to look to the market he changed all his investment and all his trading changed his mind about what's going in the market the market is a big game I told you before and I, and I have told you many many times thousands of times that it is a game if you don't understand this game they will take your money okay they will take your money because you don't know the game the game is not about uh, uh the, the game is not uh, about uh, uh, investment companies good companies bad companies i will give you an example what did happen to the gas and oil companies did you see when i make a video about these industries of energy all the indices go down from three or four months and and for us like consumer is very good because we see the price of gas uh, uh, i think uh, today or yesterday it was 213 here in north carolina which is a very good for us but what did happen to the companies these companies that they produce oil and gas and transportation okay what's the problem do they lose do they do they uh, ch change their strategies or they don't uh, or they uh, they produce more or less no it's just because of the game of stock market in the stock market they can put an industry with all its stocks down they put the price down and they they sell and they short this they short it they have too much money they can short the 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 shares of these stocks that they go down when they go down it affect the companies itself okay because they will sell with less now if you see these companies if you know a company for example an oil company you will see that it does the same as the last year or the other year or maybe they, they have good profit but you see the price is going down so what's the problem the problem is that some people are bigger and so big they can manipulate the, the stock price as they like no don't try to find who are these people because you can't find because stock market is all secrets you don't know what's going on you see a stock that was 100 it can go to 10 dollars in a few days okay it goes to 10 dollars no you you 
when you ask if you are if you are buying the stock at 20, at 100 and you stay until 10 dollars it's it's your problem not the stock market problem or these guys who short the stock when they short the stock they make too much money or they make a lot of money so uh, and for you you are losing too much money if you wait like the people for example who buy uh, precious metals like gold and silver in 2001 and 2011 I told the guys when I see the industry going down at that time I am not speaking about industries at that time I'm just speaking about I give them just information because I don't want to give at that time so much information about my strategy and how I work now I told them that the precious metals like gold and silver are going down don't buy if you are going to invest for the long run oh they tell me no uh, silver and, and gold they give me the reasons that all the people they give oh silver uh, silver it is used in all the electronics gold is, is used uh, China will buy all the gold of the world and this and that and that and right now in 2015 I, I go to these guys and I ask them the same what did they tell you about uh, about gold and silver okay they lose too much money too much money and do you think that when they have uh, all these big losses do you think they will recover this they told me no 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 gold and silver is physical okay it's physical it has always a value and your paper and your dollar it has no value now we enter to another subject and i say okay um this is the bottom line in 2011 i can buy only one ounce with go with the uh, silver which is 48 dollars uh, 48 cents in april 2011 now the silver uh, uh, one oz is only troy oz is only 16 dollars so tell me is my money uh paper money is better or your silver i can buy right now three ounces of silver no the people they don't understand so what can i do i just explain those people who can digest what i say okay about investing investing in anything i'm not speaking just about a stock market like stocks or gold and silver look at the price always the price gives you the whole story okay if you don't look at the price even you for example when you when you want to buy something uh, you always look at the price it's not just the merchandise but you look at the price if the same merchandise okay you find it with a discount in another store is the same merchandise you buy it with a discount why you buy it with the original price this I understand I understand that you know better than me okay when you buy your clothes when you buy food when you buy everything okay so why you don't do this in your investment okay so um, I hope you understand something about these questions that he raised if you are investing for the long run try to answer these questions before you do an investment at least you have a plan if you buy a stock at 100 100 dollar and you will they tell you that it's a good company and you will wait one year two years three years suppose that it is against you and after one month two months three months it goes to 90 to 80 to 70 what you should do are you going to stay or are you going to exit and find another company okay that is the questions that I raise hope this question is for you I have given you the answers in my in my video so um, just try to think it again about your investment about your life because investment helps you forecast your life because if you think that your investment you have 100,000 uh, or 200,000 uh, in your investment for your retirement and then one day your 200,000 disappear it will be a real problem for you okay so thank you very much for watching if you have any question as always ask thank you very much